Today we want to talk about the crisis mentality of black America. Crisis mentality meaning that there is an old saying that says that, you know, as black people we only come together during a crisis. Or as black families we only come together when somebody dies. Or we only get together at funerals, etc., etc. It's what we call a crisis mentality. Well, recently here in the city of Houston, we had a flood where 240 billion gallons of water fell on the city. And of course, the way the city is structured, it's fixed as such to where the black communities pretty much get the brunt and the worst of the flooding. And this flood was so bad, I personally labeled it Baby Katrina. That's how bad it was. So as I sat home and I watched my television, I saw young black men who the week before probably may or may not have even considered themselves to have a purpose. I saw them moving with purpose to save women, to save children, to save the elderly. They turned blow up mattresses into rafts. They used refrigerators that's right i said refrigerators and they turned refrigerators into boats and had little children sailing along the flood waters in refrigerators and it's this kind of ingenuity this kind of passion and this kind of love for the hood and this kind of selflessness that was displayed on this day by normal everyday brothers who generally go overlooked by this society. So it warmed my heart to see them coming to the rescue of our people. And let me say my condolences go out to the families of the eight people who lost their lives in this flood. But because of these brave young men and women, more lives were not lost and many lives were saved. So, again, crisis mentality. You had bloods, you had crips. Set aside their differences and come together. Why? Because there was a crisis. Our people were in need. The water was rising so high in some homes that people literally could have drowned. And brothers and sisters, particularly those in the Greens Point area, who really did not have a lot to begin with, literally lost everything that they had all they had was the shoes on their feet and the clothes on their backs so coming out of the flood myself and others we went into the greens point area we called it ground zero helping our people to find food clothing shelter water and all the basic necessities of life that they needed in order to move forward. And I saw some of these same young men, these same brothers, some bloods, some crips, working together to help the community and to lift us up out of the condition that this crisis had put us in because again, we have a crisis mentality. Well, the crisis mentality is a positive and a negative. It's always a beautiful thing to see the humanitarian spirit when a calamity has befallen the community. That's what we should do. We should come together. We should cover down. We should recognize the saying that I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper during a crisis. But the question that we have to ask is what happens when the so-called crisis is over? How do we treat one another just on a regular day when no rain is falling from the sky and no floods are rising in our community. Think about that. But on the other hand, I'd like for you to think it, think about it on this wise. Do you know that for every 100 black women in the free world, there are only 83 black men? That means if you line up 100 black women who wanted to have a healthy relationship and a family, 17 of them are already disqualified because there are not enough men 
in the free world due to mass incarceration and the high homicide rates among us, there's not enough black men. Would you say that we are already in a crisis? How about the fact that the unemployment rate in the black community is double the national average. That means that if you're black in America, you are twice as likely to be unemployed than anybody else in America. Would you not say that that is a crisis? What about the fact that the statistics say that one out of every three black males will see jail in their lifetime if incarceration trends do not change? That's what the government is saying. Would you call that a crisis? How about the fact that we have a $1.2 trillion spending power among black people right here in America? We are richer than some sovereign nations right here in America, but we don't even have a piece of land that we can collectively say that we own to grow our own food, to make our own clothing, and to build our own homes. $1.1 trillion? And we don't have anything collectively? Would you not say that that's a crisis? What are you saying, Brother Derek? I'm saying that for those of us who have a crisis mentality, okay, that's fine. But you need to realize that we're in a crisis every single day. So the same way that we came together and we risked life and limb to go and help our brothers and sisters out of this crisis, to the degree that we realize that our entire lives in this country has been a crisis from day one. I believe that will dictate our agenda and cause us to come together on an everyday basis just like we came together during that flood. So don't be fooled, brothers and sisters. You in a crisis right now, whether it's raining or whether it's sunny. And the only way that we'll get out of this crisis and turn this crisis into a lifestyle where we enjoy the same freedom, justice and equality that our young brothers have joined the army and went overseas to fight for. If we want to enjoy that kind of life, then we have to come together the same way we came together during the crisis of Katrina the crisis of what I call baby Katrina and every other crisis is time for us to set aside our differences, resolve our conflicts and do what must be done to build a nation inside a nation. Through our unity, the crisis will be over. Thank you.